I'm starting to feel like the men are not wrong. Which is, is, you know what I'm saying, a statement I never thought I would have to make. But after being a matchmaker for over a year, I'm starting to see what they talk about, ladies. Well, what's going on? Where where have we gone wrong? I'm thinking, I'm thinking we would be better than this. And, and the data and the evidence is showing me that we are not. I need, I need women's, I need y'all to get it together in the dating world. I'm not saying 100% of it is our fault, but I'm just saying there are some things that as a unit, we could be doing better. What we talking about is you need to go get a job so you can no, help make sure we do. No, I'm not about to do anything. I'm not about to do anything. If you not satisfied. No, we need to help make sure we each other good. So like, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. good. You need to make sure that this whole house is good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. How you good if you just quit your job? Because you don't know what I got put up. But at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not paying oh, anything else. Oh, so that's what we doing. Like I said, I I'm not paying anything up. else. And you're going to be responsible for everything else. I'm Bro, that little portion you put in on the portion? That little portion. Okay, so my little portion was nothing. Because I'm not paying anything else. And like, that's the problem. You're not understanding it. You understand why you don't think that's the problem? It isn't the problem. So I'm your wife. I'm your wife. So why do you want your wife to go out and work? I'm not understanding it. Plenty of people wise work. Okay, I'm not gonna be one of them anymore. Simple as that. No. You need to step your no. game up, go get you another job, go get two, three, four, five, six more if you got to. But you, I'm not gonna do you got, you got I do not nah, go being lazy, stop being a bum, nah. and go get another job. Nah, nah, what you can do is you can get up and go get you another me. job because you quit nah, the job that you I'm straight. I'm straight at the end of the day. You maybe need to go get you another job and take care of these bills. We got four, we got four kids and you can't even barely take care of one. Who do all the work? I do most of the work. No, you that's don't. a lie. That's a lie. First so, what, how much, not gonna lie how much money you bring home? You're not gonna lie to me. How much before. money you bring home? You're not gonna lie to you. All right, no, so, I'm not gonna so my therefore, phone. I'm not gonna discuss I'm not my funds on the world. And job. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not working another job. Simple yeah. as that. Bro, see, 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 story the house is spotless she cooks every day and i've just taught her the only thing she needs to know in english oh well thank you honey you say something yes daddy see now this guy is certainly living the life i only want you for the money and the clothes and for the bills that's it if you ain't getting my hair done if you ain't getting my nails done if you ain't doing nothing for me then i don't need you here it's not 50-50, it's not 80-20, it's 100% to zero. It's oh, one side, it. it's, it's, it, look, that's why American relationships are failures. Mm -hmm. That's why American women on a global context are the worst for relationships long-term period. That's why the divorce rate is the highest in the world here. And that's why on the desirability level, American women are at the bottom of the global barrel. This is all statistically documented from men because at the end of the day, the ones who decide if a woman is valuable for a relationship is men. Well, Amanda is the person that's going to have to obviously Concede. propose and buy the ring and, and all that stuff. And give them the ring. Real exactly. quick. Well, this video shows exactly why men are leaving America. Passport bros, they're writing news articles about us now. The tides are turning. Apparently, TikTok is divided. We need someone to settle this argument once and for all. I asked AI, and it turns out ChatGBT is a.
passport, bro. You guys are gonna lose it over this, look. I'm an American man looking to date abroad, using all statistical data. We're gonna score countries on beauty, fitness, friendliness, loyalty, and cost of living slash dating. It only has data up until 2021. And of course, this is a generalization. Take this with a grain of salt, guys. Coming in at first, we got Brazil, then Colombia. Third is Ukraine, fourth Russia, fifth the Philippines. Coming in behind them, Thailand, Spain, Italy, Sweden, Poland. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to expand this list. So I expanded it to the top 30, and United States is not on here. We have to be fair, guys. I did the same thing for men with slightly different criteria, and we got blown out of the water, guys. It, it, there was a clear winner. Criteria was handsomeness, fitness, loyalty, kindness, meaning income. Coming in at first place, we have Italy. They absolutely destroyed on these metrics. The runner-up was Sweden, Australia, Spain, United States, though. We're not too far behind. Came in in fifth place, Canada, Brazil, Germany, France, United Kingdom. So if you take men and women from these countries and put their international dating score together, you can see the gap between American men and women is massive. But let's be honest, it's all preference. If you like the way Colombian or Filipino women look, or maybe you vibe with the fact that they're traditional and family-oriented, you should go out there and try dating, absolutely. I will not shame you, and you shouldn't let anyone else do it either. Well, now ChatGPT is on the Passport Bros side. This is gonna be good. When you pay attention to the Passport Bros, like they're getting women from like uh, the Philippines, Thailand, like women can, that can speak very little English, women that don't have it, education. What country did the Vietnam War happen in? Um, Canada. You know what country the Great Wall of China is in? Japanese. Do you know what the capital of the USA is? No. Well, ladies, can you name three countries besides the USA? Real quick, three countries. Um, what? Asia. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I didn't pay attention to this question. Anyway, next. This is geography. Africa? That's not okay. <laughs> then what's the same? Shh, please. Oh, wait, is that Asia? Himalayas. What? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. One more. Antarctica. This video just hurts my brain. It really does. So I married a Japanese woman. She's absolutely awesome. Let me tell you a little story. For around 10 years, I was dating around in the West. A number of terrible relationships full of testing, talking, downright emotional abuse, really. My heart completely shut. I, I just couldn't open up to anyone anymore. Hey. Then I went to Japan, and within three months, I met my wife. She was just so caring, so supportive. She genuinely wished for me to feel happy. She was the one who finally managed to unlock my heart. I fell for her. I don't wonder at all why hashtag passport bros exist. Sometimes you just need to venture out and find love somewhere else, and that's exactly what he did. These are my thoughts on the passport bro situation. Me as a foreign man myself that have been to many different countries, I notice the difference how foreign women treat their men compared to how American women treat them. And I'm not going to bash American women, but we all can agree that American society promotes hookup culture, promotes infidelity, does not promote marriage, does not promote respect. And that's both sides of the coin. Men and women do not have traditional values. The type of man that I am, when my woman gets pregnant, I'm going to take care of everything. I wanted to stay at home. I wanted to relax. I wanted to chill. And some women are cool with that. Some women are not. Typically, foreign women with traditional values are okay with that. You really don't have to on another person's preference. Trust me, if I want to start a family and I want to get married, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to Jessica. I'm going to go talk to Maria. But results may vary. When you have a soldier agreeing, you know he's right. For the women who are upset with the passport bros, so there's two ways you can handle life, right? You can either be bitter and angry at the people who have the things that you want, or you can learn from them and learn how you can obtain it for yourself. Personally, I prefer to go for option two because option one just leaves you bitter and filled with resentment, but your situation doesn't change. Whereas at least with option two, you have a chance of actually changing your situation. If you don't like your outcomes, change your behavior. You can shame these men as much as you want. Honestly, shaming Western men is not the solution to the passport bro issue. The best thing is for Western women to be more traditional and to be more in sync with what their men want. Thank you very much for watching till the end. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.